Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode 106, I think. It's super casual, so I'm not going to edit it much. <laughs> but uh, first, look at my hair. I waved it. <laughs> I thought I would try something different, and I wanted to try beach waves. So, that's this is my first attempt at that. I maybe didn't brush it out enough, but I think it looks good. <laughs> Anyways, it's super bright because it's sunny outside, and the windows are behind you guys. And um, I wanted to take advantage and film while I was feeling like it. I'm actually in a slump this week because of uh, private things that's been going on. And parenting is still a struggle right now because my son is going crazy. And also last night here in Tennessee, some tornadoes hit pretty roughly in Nashville, Mount Juliet, Lebanon. And the, city, the town next to me in Putnam County got hit really bad. And a lot of deaths. The county next to me has had... So far they've announced 16 deaths and that includes some children and all kinds of businesses have been destroyed so a lot of people's lives changed last night. Uh, not just the people who died and whose houses got hit but also the people whose workplaces got hit. You know you're out of the job after that and you have to find new uh, work and stuff. So I'm super stressed out about that because I'm a super empathetic person <laughs> and I've been crying all morning about uh, this tragedy that's happened here in Tennessee. So I'm trying to, uh, I'm gonna film while I can <laughs> keep myself together. And then I'm gonna take a break today. Uh, Jesse's not here, so I'm just gonna have like a lazy day where I'm just gonna chill and do things that calm me down because I don't wanna get too upset over um, the stuff that's been happening lately. But anyways, hi, <laughs> welcome back. My name is Ella. Thank you to all the returning subscribers and welcome to all the new people. I've had a few new ones lately. Um, this is a crochet channel <laughs> and yeah I have another channel if you'd like to check it out it's always linked below it's called no catchy name uh, life <laughs> and it is just vlogs and recipes and uh, my weight loss journey uh, over there if you'd like to check it out go ahead and click over there and check it out <laughs> but yeah so I do got some finished objects but they're the same thing just multiple ones and I did get some work on some new whips but I haven't crocheted a whole lot in the last couple of weeks, so uh, I don't have a lot to show. However, I do need to work on a whole lot more daffodils because the daffodil festival is the end of this month. It's the 21st, and so I want to get more made up for that. And I want to crack into that Granny Square book that I was gifted, um, the 3D Granny Squares. I want to start making some of those. And uh, I was also gifted another book, um, Zimmergroomy 7, I think. And it's got some really cute ones I want to make. There's a beaver that I want to make and something else. Oh, a parrot. Those are the two that I marked because I want to make them right away. And then I'll, I'll probably make some more throughout the rest of the year or whatever. But anyways, finished objects is a lot of daffodils. This many. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I made, I made eight last night and then I made five last week so 13 new daffodils right here. <laughs> so that brings my total to 20 something i don't know i'm not gonna count them but it's a lot my goal is to have 50 so i still got um a few weeks to get some more of these made and they're super quick so um i'm pretty sure i can make them they're all living in my cardinal bag that i made in 2017 this is one of the first bags i ever made um hanging out on there and chilling being flowers <laughs> But that's my only finished objects this week. I do have some whips. One of them, this first one I'll show you, was a whip from um, the last episode. I had just started it. It is the bathing suit cover up. What is the name? It's called the Sea Breeze Cover Up Crochet Pattern. And the person who made it is by Katrina.com. So I got the pattern printed out. I've only worked on this a little tiny bit. I think I did one row uh, because it's. It's kind of hard. It's little tiny yarn. It's like a finger and weight yarn. And I'm not used to working with it, so it's slow growing. But I did do <laughs> the whole uh, first row and I started on the second row. This is purple. It's not showing up the right color on the camera. But um, see, I got two rows. Well, one and a half. More than a half. <laughs> I got that much more to complete. <laughs> this is taking me forever. I don't know if I'll ever finish this. It's kind of frustrating because I keep dropping the yarn out of my hands. There's the cake that it's coming out of. This is a Stitch Studio by Nicole Cotton Colors. I won this from Cinnamon Stitches sometime last year. She had some kind of giveaway for something. <laughs> I can't even remember now. But I entered it and I won. 
and it's a size two <laughs> so that's why i'm having such a hard time with it uh let's see here 100 cotton and there's a thousand and ninety three yards in his so this is going to be a, a bathing suit cover up hopefully if i can get it made <laughs> and if i can think about it i'll pop up a picture of what it's supposed to look like when it's done and i would love to have this done by the summer but lord mercy i don't know if i'm gonna be able to because it is really uh skinny and hard for me to work with this is also a bag that i made this is one of my first ever zipper bags and it's dodgy it's kind of falling apart but it still works so i use it i love it all right my last whip this was gonna i had this cake pulled out to be a um let me turn my sound off uh how much i say a granny shawl for the ones that I'm going to donate later this year, but I ended up make, starting something totally different. But the yarn is Yarn Bee Sugar Will Have It Sorbet. That's what's left of the first ball. <laughs> and what I'm making is a poncho. Z has made this Z from Zelda NRJ3. Is that right? And it's basically like a f net, almost like a fillet. And it kind of, you know, it, it hugs your shoulders, kind of, and then hangs down. <laughs> and <laughs> if I can think about it, I'll post a picture of what it's supposed to look like. I've been working on this a lot. But this is called the Easy to Crochet Poncho by All Crafts Channel, and that's here on um, YouTube. So I just wanted something different and something kind of mindless, and this is it. <laughs> so I basically have to do the same row right here 26 times. So it's just chains and single crochets. So it's, it's going pretty quickly pretty smoothly I like it and um, I'm making that for myself I guess I don't know I'm just making it because I wanted to make it <laughs> I've just been kind of I haven't been wanting to work on anything too complicated just because of all the life stuff that's going on and um, I just want mindless stuff that I can just sit and watch TV or listen to music and work on and I was working on that outside too I would sit outside while Jesse's playing and I'll uh, crochet away while he's playing but yeah, so that's all the crafty stuff. I did get a lot of happy mail the last couple weeks, but I haven't been able to share it because I've been so busy I wasn't able to record. So I um, just, you know, I had to eventually put it all away because it was piling up on my table. So I did get a package from Kara, and I got a package from Wendy, and I got a package from Phyllis. I already talked to Phyllis, though. So <laughs> made her talk on Instagram. And uh, I got some letters. I can't remember exactly who they're all from. I have them still piled in there. I think I recorded one clip. If I did record that, I'll insert that here. Hey guys, I wanted to share the Happy Mail real fast so that I could go ahead and put it up. And then uh, this will be inserted at some point in the video later today. <laughs> but um, I did get a lot of Happy Mail over the last couple of weeks. Some cards, which are hanging up, and uh, some packages. And they've since been put away because I wasn't able to film very much and was super busy. And I just needed to get stuff put where they needed to go. But I did want to let Wendy know that I got her package. And Kara, I got your package. And then right here, I got Pamela from Arkansas. Three me minutes, think of that. <laughs> what state that was. I got a letter from you. I got your letter. I get it to unfold. And you also, and she also sent me two stitch markers from Bella Co. Co. Bella Co. Co. One is a little heart with a hook going through it. And then the other one says hooked with a crochet hook, which are really cool. I can't wait to use those. Ah, it's dropping them everywhere. And then today I got my, a package from Phyllis. Uh, she lives in New Hampshire. She's one of my good friends. Uh, I mean, her talk a lot on Instagram. But she sent me some of these little kits that are crochet kits for amigurumis. So she sent me the Mar one of the Marvel ones. I don't know if there's multiple ones, but this is the one she sent me. So it's got all of them people in it and these ones i'm definitely gonna make him because jesse loves him and it comes with the stuff to make him soon eventually <clears throat> and then she also got me the star wars one or she didn't get it for me she had it already and then asked if i would be interested in having them so yeah so those are from phyllis and then today i also got from robin in michigan she sent me a letter, but it was a private letter. And she also sent me a furls hook. Uh, here it is. It's an H, so it's a five millimeter. It's called a Streamline Swirl. And uh, she sent it to me, um, and she said that she doesn't really like these because the way the heads are, they're kind of like Susan Bates, but I just happen to love Susan Bates hooks, so I'm hoping I love this. I'm gonna use this in 
like later today. I want to try it out. But it's so pretty. It's red and white down at the bottom mixed in. Very pretty. I can't wait to use it. I've been wanting one of these forever, but they're expensive. <laughs> like, and I know there are some furls that are like hundreds of dollars, and these ones are not that expensive. But the hooks that I normally have are like $2, 2 or $3 each. So these are super expensive compared to that. <laughs> um, but it's really cool. They have one gifted to me, and now I can try it out and see if I like it. And if I do like them, maybe I can start a collection of them in the future. But yeah, so thank you everybody so much for the happy mail I've been getting. And I'm sure I got some more letters and cards, but, um, you know, life's been crazy this <laughs> last week. Super stressful, and, um, I'm, things are just now starting to calm back down. So I'm trying to get reorganized and start working on more videos and stuff. I haven't even crocheted much at all in February. <laughs> I have to do my February roundup, and I might film that later today or maybe tomorrow. And uh, I only, I can only think of a few things I finished. I finished the bunnies and some daffodils. I can't remember if I finished that shawl in February or if that was in January. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'll have to round all that stuff up and see what I did. I know I didn't do much, but week, uh, week, March is a much longer month. And um, I'm hoping that I can get more stuff done. Just isn't there singing. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. But this will be inserted into the No Kitchen Name episode. I just wanted to film it before I put all this stuff up. Because I need to definitely put this up so Jesse doesn't get hold of it and break it. But yeah, so thank you guys, er, er, everybody, for all the happy mail that you sent. Me and Jesse. Jesse got some too. And um, it makes us both really happy. <laughs> and Jesse loves it. He's playing with some stickers he got today from uh, Phyllis. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, that's the happy mail that I got that I could remember to record. But yeah, um, things have been pretty hectic around here, like I already said. So uh, I've just been kind of taking it easy. <laughs> I'm hoping to crochet more this week. And I definitely got to get more daffodils done. And I want to, I got some patterns that I want to finish designing. I was already designing them and then life popped up. So I need to get back at them and finish them. I'm actually working on one today. And I um, also want to thank everybody who helped me raise money this last weekend. Um, I, I had an Etsy shop sale <laughs> and um, because our family was needing some money and I was able to get it through my Etsy shop which is awesome and I wanted everybody to know <laughs> when I appreciated everybody who bought something and everybody who sent good thoughts and prayers and stuff and I also wanted everybody who bought something to know that um, I wrote all y'all's names down and your addresses and I do intend on sending you guys a little something as a thank you uh, soon, maybe in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully I can get it um, situated out. <laughs> and uh, just for helping me when I needed help. And I really appreciate everyone in this community. It's always been so um, awesome <laughs> in helping anyone when, they, when it's needed. And I appreciate it so much <laughs> that I was able to um, raise the money by selling stuff instead of having to ask for it, you know, some other way. So, um, that makes me feel better. <laughs> but anyways, speaking of bags, I do have some more fabric. I went through my stash and I just dug around and found all kinds of random stuff. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. What is today? Today's Tuesday? So maybe next week sometime, I will have some new bags coming up in the shop that may be totally random. I have no idea what they're going to look like because um, I'm just going to try to use as much fabric out of my stash. And I was gifted some fabric this last week and some of it's super cute. So I can't wait to uh, get that cut for you guys and in the shop. And I also found a new pattern, a bag pattern, that I want to try to make with a whole bunch of fat quarters. I've been gifted a lot of fat quarters, um, multiple times. Multiple people sent me some fat quarters. So I want, I've been saving them, because <laughs> I knew I'd find some, a good use for them. And I found some bags that I want to try to start making with them, and then they'll be in the shop. And hopefully, the crab bags, do you guys remember the, the ones that you squeeze and they open? Uh, I still have a bunch of those fixtures, so I just have to make the bags. Um, Usually what gets me to not do that is I don't have enough interfacing. <laughs> so I have to get some more interfacing and then I can make some more crab bags and put them up in the shop. But yeah. So I did just want to thank everybody for that. <laughs> but uh, also, um, weight loss. I don't know if you could tell it or not. I've lost 24 pounds. My shirt's huge. All my clothes are getting big. But I'm trying to procrastinate buying new clothes until I'm not going to keep losing weight. Because if I buy new clothes and then I lose more weight, I'm going to buy need more new clothes. <laughs> If that makes sense. But I'll talk about all that on my other channel. But I just wanted to give, give an update that I have lost 24.6 pounds as of Monday. So uh, if you're interested in following along that journey, check out the other channel, which is in the description box below. There's kids outside now, so you might be able to hear them. 
yeah i think that's everything i do want to get some more videos out uh on this channel now that things I know I say this a lot, but now I feel like things actually finally are going to like slow down because a lot of things I was dreading coming up have already come and passed. So, um, you know, my mind is more clear now to focus on yarn stuff and that, that is bags and, uh, designing patterns. Cause I got a lot of patterns in my head, actually in my notebook, I write them down that I want to get out for you guys. And, uh, I want to start making more videos. I do have to record a video for February roundup. I didn't have as many finished objects in February as I did in January. But it's just because life. And plus February was shorter. <laughs> it was only like two days shorter. But still. You know. I'm going to just pretend that that's my excuse. But yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. So I can get this edited. And up hopefully today. And then I will try to film the roundup right after this. So I might be wearing the same shirt. <laughs> but uh, it's just filmed on the same day. And put out a different day. But yeah. So check out the other um, YouTube channel for vlogs. I am actually currently filming a vlog too for that channel. And uh, I need to get out some more recipe videos too for you guys because a lot of people have been asking. But yeah, so anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that is. And thank you all for watching and subscribing and liking and sharing and commenting and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.